SM Entertainment's largest shareholder and founder, former executive producer Lee Suman and HYBE's chairman, Pan Shihook, have joined hands so that SM Entertainment and HYBE will become game changers in the world's popular music. Lee Suman, the founder of SM Entertainment, is threatening legal action against SM Entertainment regarding the company's new relationship with Kakao. They stated that SM Entertainment and Kakao used illegal methods to provide Kakao with the shares necessary. Kakao had acquired a 9.05% stake in SM Entertainment, becoming the company's second-largest shareholder however the number one shareholder in SM Entertainment right now is HYBE. HYBE acquired most of Lee Suman's stocks, they acquired 14.8% of SM Entertainment's stocks, making them the highest shareholder in the company. Dispatch has revealed that Lee Suman selling his SM Entertainment shares to HYBE was his only option left on the table. Some of the company stock that Lee Suman transferred to HYBE other than SM Entertainment include Dreammaker Entertainment Limited, which produces concerts and live shows, and a brand marketing company. Lee Suman urgently reached out to Pan Shi Hook, Pan Shi Hook accepted his request for help, but it is noteworthy that the help that Pan Shi Hook provided also cut off nearly all connections between Lee Suman and SM. Lee Suman's role in SM Entertainment is over. The revenue that Lee Suman can make from SM Entertainment activities and promotions is nearly all gone. That money is now going to the company and the shareholders. Lee Suman handed over his share and escaped. What does the future look like for SM artist? Ooh.